Let's not talk about fragment, which is another important uh, linguistic as well as pragmatic concept. Concept. Fragment may be seen as a linguistic material which is less than a sentence, a complete sentence, but still it is able to convey its meaning completely. Uh, in our daily conversations, in most of uh, our dialogues, we do not say complete sentences. Rather, we talk in fragments. If, if somebody asks, where are you going, I might say, to my office. Instead of say, saying, I am going to my office, I would rather say, to my off office or to the market or to any, any other place. So, we do speak things in fragments, but still we convey complete meanings. Some of the, of the examples are in front of you. You could see in response to various questions, we answer things like, over here, water, what do you want? Uh, somebody might say, water. So in that way, uh, a single word can act as a fragment, but it would still convey complete meaning. On the second shelf down uh, behind the jam, nice one. Uh, how many cats do you have? And the other person would answer, probably may answer five, instead of saying, I have five cats. Uh, fragments are generally uh, linguistic constituents uh, which convey certain meanings and saying non-constituents -cost uh, in fragments may, may be very strange. Sometimes, rather most of the time, they do not convey any meaning. Uh, the, uh, the words like shelf down or cats do you, uh, they, they hardly convey complete meaning. So, fragments are those which are lesser than a sentence but still they convey some kind of meanings. Fragments can be used to ex ex express complete propositions that mean uh, they convey a piece of information which may be verified as true or false and uh, therefore it certainly uh, does have certain meanings. For example, uh, a speaker uh, uttering sentences like on the top of the shelf, uh, he might be pointing out that, that a certain jar is on the top of the shelf. Similarly, where are you going? Somebody might answer to the school uh, or to the question, did you eat something? The answer could possibly be nothing or I have uh, or ate nothing instead of saying I have eaten nothing. So these half sentences or short expressions uh, may be seen as uh, the fragments and uh, still, as I said earlier, they do convey some kind of meanings. It is controversial whether uh, fragments are sometimes or never syntactically elliptical. Uh, th th they are reduced forms in, in terms of syntax or not. Yes, it, it, is, it is some kind of uh, a debate which is still going on, especially in the spheres of syntax and other uh, dimensions of linguistics. Uh, are you writing something? And somebody might say a letter to my friend. So again, it's not a complete sentence, but it's a complete answer. To the question. Based on fragments, we can develop various uh, activities in the classroom in order to teach our students, uh, students the pragmatic aspects of our second language. For example, you could ask them to answer certain questions in fragments which are used uh, in our daily language. Some of the questions may be, uh, who are you waiting for? And ask your student to devise an answer in fr fragments and they might answer our friend, our family members, etc. Uh, other question could be possibly be, where are you at the moment? Or who was the, uh, how was the weather yesterday? Or are you well? Similarly, there could be so many questions which are answered in fragments in our daily life and they may be uh, pointed out or they may be presented in front of our students to get answers from, uh, from themselves in fragments.